Hello again everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and today I will be teaching you about Steve Davis's three-way diametric French press. In my opinion, Steve Davis is one of the most underappreciated of the Golden Era legends. Mr. Davis initially began training under the tutelage of Vince Gironda early on in his youth, after viewing the astounding physique of Steve Reeves on the big screen. From that point on, he aimed to create a symmetrical and aesthetic body and to never let size win out over shape and flow. The highlight of his competitive career was when he captured the prestigious IFBB Mr. World Championship in 1977. After training with Vince for many years, Mr. Davis eventually opened up his own gym with Vince's grace and modeled much of its interior design off of the legendary health studio. Undoubtedly, Mr. Davis is most famous for his incredible transformation, in which he went from 285 pounds to 200 pounds in just a few short months. Interestingly, this entire process was done intentionally after Mr. Davis read about Bruce Randall's incredible transformation, which occurred a few decades prior. Steve Davis was one of the most impressive bodybuilders at Vince's gym, period. His crisp condition and undeniable aesthetics created a very memorable and timeless physique. In today's video, I will be demonstrating one of his most favorite exercises to build up the triceps. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding this movement, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And with all that out of the way, I hope you all enjoy this video. Steve Davis's three-way diametric French press can be found on page 9 of Achieving Total Muscularity. For those of you wanting to purchase that book, the link will be in the description below. To me, I have always felt that this publication represents almost the second volume of Vince Gironda's Unleashing the Wild Physique, because it is filled with many tips and tricks not often seen elsewhere. One intriguing tip Mr. Davis details is how he developed his unique tricep shape. He describes how he would extend each rep slightly beyond the normal lockout position and that he would contract his triceps as hard as possible for a two count. This, along with his razor sharp conditioning, gave Mr. Davis without question one of the best side tricep shots in history. This exercise circuit consists of three compound movements performed for six reps each. It is designed to target all heads of the triceps from three distinct angles. This comes out to a total of 18 repetitions. Steve Davis mentions that you should perform this circuit for three sets, adding weight during your rest period, and that you should rest no longer than 45 seconds. You want to begin this lift by lying on a supine or flat bench with your ankles crossed and knees pulled upwards towards your midsection. At the same time, you should grasp an easy curl bar at the narrowest bend before pressing it above your chest. This will be your starting position. Next, you will lower the bar behind your head before extending it back to arm's length for a total of six repetitions. After this, and without break, you will now lower the bar to your forehead before extending it back to arm's length for an additional six reps. Directly after this, you will conclude this circuit with close grip bench presses for a final six reps. A tip here that Mr. Davis mentions is, is that you should make sure to contract your triceps very hard at the top and extend fully on both the concentric and eccentric portions of the lift. In the next slide, I will demonstrate this exercise for you, and of course, if you have any questions about the form, do leave them in the comment section. As you can see, I have assumed the starting position where my legs have been pulled up towards my stomach and my ankles are crossed over one another. On these first six repetitions, you can clearly see the incredible stretch in my triceps at the bottom, as well as the full range of motion I am aiming to achieve. Also, take note of my relatively slow tempo here. At the top, I am actually trying hard to squeeze my triceps to increase fatigue in the muscle. On these next six repetitions, pay attention to the bar when it touches my forehead. I am intentionally slowing the barbell down so that it just barely touches the skin here. 
I am in complete control and in no danger whatsoever. Just as before, I am trying to contract my triceps very hard at the top of the lift. Finally, on the last portion, I am trying my best to keep these reps as slow and controlled as possible, but as you can see, I am really quite fatigued by this point. Still, I am trying my hardest to keep my reps as tight as possible. Clearly this exercise was incredibly grueling. Although it was challenging, it was also very rewarding for me. I have no doubt I will be feeling these for at least a couple of days. I cannot recommend trying this exercise enough, and it certainly has earned a spot in my routine moving into the future. If you have enjoyed this lift, please make sure to check out Steve Davis's publications on Amazon. He is an amazing author and human being, and I have the utmost respect for him. If you have enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.